welcome to Falmouth Arts Center. I'm Laura Reckford, Executive Director of the Falmouth Arts Center. We are free and open to the public every day, so feel free to go in after the concert and check out our, we have three new shows in there this week, and we have 36 shows a year, so there's always something new to see. And uh, we have classes, workshops, things like that. All of our flyers are inside and it's air conditioned, so feel free to check it out if you like. And housekeeping announcement, we do have bathrooms inside. And uh, if you do need to use the restroom, you can just go around to the front and go that way so you don't interrupt the performance. Also, if people have cell phones and they want to turn them off, that would be a good thing to do. So we don't usually have music here at the Falmouth Arts Center, but maybe we will start doing that a little more. Performers need venues, and this is certainly a beautiful one. Thank you. Um, it's really a, a beautiful place to, to hear music. So I did ask these people next door to um, take a pause, so hopefully they will in a few minutes. Um, let's see. So this performance is brought to us by Arts Falmouth. We have Marilyn Rowland, the president of Arts Falmouth, on one of the cameras here. And uh, board members from the group are here as well. Arts Falmouth is a nonprofit group that puts on a number of wonderful events in Falmouth. And this is part of Arts Falmouth's virtual Woods Hole Trad Stroll. Some of you may know the Trad Stroll is, happens every spring down in Woods Hole, but with the pandemic last year they went virtual and this year they've gone virtual. So the recording you see is because this will be shown on FCTV as well as YouTube and Facebook. So you'll, you're the first ones to see it, but you will be able to see it again in, on those venues. Um, and now to introduce our musicians. Kim Moberg and Heather Swanson have been performing throughout New England for the past five years. Award-winning singer-songwriter Kim Moberg was born in Juneau, Alaska, the daughter of a classical pianist mother of Alaskan native uh, tinged descent and a U.S. Coast Guard veteran father from Kansas. Music was the constant in Kim's childhood, helping to adjust to the frequent moves associated with growing up in a military family. At the age of 14, she began playing acoustic guitar, teaching herself to play. She, at, in 2014, she wrote her first song. She's recorded two albums, both receiving wide airplay and critical acclaim. Her performance resume includes sharing the stage as an opener or co bill with numerous contemporary and established musicians. Heather Swanson is a classical violinist who crossed over to folk and tradi traditional Celtic music and loving it. Grew up in the Boston area. Uh, she's had the experience of playing with and traveling with Boston Youth Symphony and uh, musical studies at Boston University and UMass Lowell. She has also been a music educator. Her group, the Cape Violin Cello Duo, is with her cellist daughter and they play at Cape Cod venues. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Kim Moberg and Heather Swanson. All right, thank you so much, Laura, and to the uh, Arts Center Falmouth for hosting. Thank you very much to Arts Falmouth and to Marilyn and the Woods Hole Trad Stroll for bringing us traditional music every single year. This might be my fourth year playing the Trad Stroll, so I'm super excited to be here. I am um, a graduate, 1977 graduate of Falmouth High School, and I don't live in Falmouth anymore, so it's very emotional and very oh, heartwarming for me to ba be back here in this town. And this is my very first in-person concert since the pandemic started, so I am so heartfelt thankful that you guys are here. Thank you so much. I was born in Juneau, Alaska, and the uh, tribe that I belong to is called the Tlingit Tribe. And my Tlingit name is Kashka, which means someone who sits still and shines. And um, I don't know a lot about our tribe because of colonization and things that have happened over the past, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 years. 
But um, I've dug into a little more and tried to learn as much as I can about Native American cultures. And one thing that I learned recently was um, a very interesting prophecy by the Anishinaabe tribe, which um, is really the northeastern part of what used to be called Turtle Island, but we call now um, the North American continent. And by the way, I just wanted to acknowledge we are coming here to you on the traditional territories of the Wampanoag and the Nauset tribes, which are also called people of first light. So I wrote this song doing some research. Um, the Anishinaabe tribe have a prophecy that's called the Seven, Seven Fires Prophecy. And um, they're predictions, and each prediction is called a fire, and each fire represents a specific area in time. And it's said that we're currently in the seventh fire, the period of the seventh fire. And we're at a very important juncture now where we need to come together um, as humans, as from all cultures, from all lands, to come together and take care of our earth and to take care of each other and be kind to each other if we want to prosper and have our time here continue. And I just found it to be an incredibly inspiring prophecy, and I wanted to write a song about it. The song has not yet been recorded, and it's been the first time I've performed it in front of people. It's called The Seventh Fire.
so much. That's called The Seventh Fire, and it's a song about hope. We're here in the time of The Seventh Fire, and as long as we take care of each other, then we can't give up hope. I'd like to introduce to you right now my fiddle player, Heather Swanson, who's coming on up to the stage. Hang on a second. All right, so thank you again for inviting me to play the Trad Stroll. I know there's been a whole lot of traditional music played throughout the event, and I'm super thrilled that I'm invited to come back every year because I, I don't play Irish Trad music or Celtic Trad music. So I'm going to bring you some contemporary traditional music in the form of somebody who had his 80th birthday this year, Mr. Bob Dylan. guys it's been a while right you're gonna be patient ready ring them bells ye heathens from the city that dreams ring them bells from the sanctuaries across the valleys and streams for the deep and the wide and the world's on its side and time is running backwards and so is the Ring them bells, St. Peter, where the four winds blow. Ring them bells with an iron hand so the people know. For it's rush hour now on the wheel of the cloud. And the sun is going down upon the sacred.
very much. Give me a little more fiddle, right? Give me a little more fiddle. I'm going to play original tune for you next. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I lived here on the base for a little while. My dad was in the Coast Guard, and um, he was from, well, my mother was born in Juneau, Alaska, but my dad was from a faraway place, too, um, that called Kansas, very far away. And he was the uh, grandson to Hamilton, Hamilton Hamp Hogan, and Josephine Melinda. Josephine Melinda was my very favorite relative on that kooky side of the family. Um, she was fiercely independent. She had a great sense of humor, and family meant everything to her. And um, I wrote this song as a tribute to her and to introduce you all to my great-grandma Jo. It's a true story. It's filled with murder, adultery. It's called Josephine, and it's on my second album, which is called Up Around the Bend. And it will be for sale over here after the uh, set. Fire in the sky. 
Websites. I'm at uh, www.kimmobergmusic.com. If you go and click on newsletter, you'll be able to see upcoming shows. I'm, we perform all throughout, well, New England right now, the region, but that's changing and expanding, and can, dates are being out, added to the calendar as we go along. And Heather has her website, too, for um, wedding and classical music, which is uh, www.capeviolincelloduo.com. So check it out. This is a John Hyatt tune that I thought was fitting for the trad stroll. Can you guys hear okay? Is everything sounding good mix, right? Everything's good? All right. Can you hear yourself okay? Yes. All right. It's called Before I Go. Center and to everybody at the Woods Hole Trad Stroll. We're very, very excited to be here. And um, please stay tuned. What's, is there a website where they can see the schedule? Artsfalmouth.org. 
artsfalmouth.org, you'll be able to see there are all sorts of incredible musicians that are performing virtually for the Woods Hole Trance Roll this year. You're not going to want to miss it. And, and, to and we can <laughs> give a shout out to Mashpee High graduates right today. Including yes. my granddaughter, Clara Sines. Yes. Happening right now. <laughs> This is a traditional song, and it's one of the most traditional songs that I know. And it was written by a man you might have heard of named Stephen Foster. It's called Hard Times Come Again No More. fitting song for the end of a pandemic too. Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears while we all set sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in ours. Oh, heart Oh, hard time. 
wafted across the troubled way. Tears away all that is heard upon the shore. Tears a dirge that is murmured across the lonely grave. Oh, hard times come again. song but I think it's a song everybody knows and if you know it please feel free to sing along because even though we've been through a very trying time there have been some incredible silver, silver linings for a lot of people and um, for me I got to spend a whole lot more time with my two kids age 21 and 17 and um, it was just an absolute honor to be able to do that but in all the bad times there are many 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 good things in the world and this is a song about appreciating that. Thank you again, everybody. Thank you for sitting and listening to our songs. We really, really appreciate you being here. Thank you. I see trees green and red roses too and I see them bloom before me and you and I think What a wonderful world I see skies blue And clouds of white The bright blessed day And the dark sacred night And I think to myself What a wonderful world Well, the colors of the rainbow So pretty and the sky Are also on the faces The people going by I see friends shaking Say, how do you do? Well, they're really saying, I love you.